dude, let's go! There is no way she doesn't help me out. This is a win! Dude, this is massive! Oh my god, the fairy saved the ro well... Okay, today we're back with another community challenge. This time is gonna be a challenge called Joja June. It's gonna be a speedrun challenge again, much like the Joja can, but without the cheating. So the objective of this run this time is going to be complete Joja warehouse, but there's a catch. We're going to be selling for every season a specific color of item for cash only. We're going to have chat lovingly choose a color per season and I can only sell that color of item in forageable or crop farm, uh, form on my farm. There's a long extensive list of stuff we're not allowed to do. We can't open the mail ever. We can't do quests. We can't go to the museum for help. No guild, no trash, nothing, nothing at all. We can go to the mine for sprinkler resources and it says we can also go for tool upgrades, but I don't think we're gonna do that. We're allowed to eat whatever we want and that's not color restricted, so we can basically eat whatever. We also have some more chat suggestions instead of requirements. Shockingly enough, they asked for garbage hat again. They said no copium, I don't know what that means and they want us to pick a cat and we always pick the Todd cat the gray and white guy because he's my actual cat and then we have additional restrictions to make the run even harder because I like difficulty so I have to finish in three hours we have a horror chest which is just just kind of a fun little thing we're gonna do where if I have extra stuff I'll put it in the chest and at the very end I'll sell it after we're all done and I get the sody pop machine and then there's a, another restriction that says use greenhouse which I was gonna do anyway so the hardest part about this run is not actually like the run itself with money, it's that I'm not very good with colors. I'm being accused by chat of being colorblind and I'm not. Yeah, with, uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. So chat, uh, I am not gonna do the garbage hat. I don't know what that copium thing is. I will get the cat. <laughs> I'm gonna rip that bandaid off right now. <sighs> without further ado, before jumping into it, the first rendition of Joja June is underway. I need a pull for the first color, please. Oh, the first color is green. Your guys' biggest mistake. The rules stipulate foraging and farming only. Green beans, kale, hops, summer. Oh, oh. Oh, I take it back. This sucks. Now we have to think, all right? Are parsnips considered green? What color is a parsnip? It's got the green on top. It's yellow? <laughs> Guys, come on. Are you lying right now for just content? Dude, that tree right there inside is green. Oh my God. <laughs> off to a hot start. <laughs> my bad, that was not intentional. The opener is very standard. This is all we're gonna do, okay? Write this down, it's importante. We are going to go to the mines. Our entire battle plan hinges on sprinklers once again, the foundation of many runs. We are doing default farm, okay? The reason for default farm is, is that it offers the most space. So we need an army of scarecrows, meaning I cannot get rid of fiber. But we're gonna do foraging, because we have to, through mixed seeds, and our goal, uh, what if I hoard? So like, what if I have purple for next time? No hoarding. Okay, so that was my question, thank you. So the first thing that we want, we need tiller. Tiller has to happen. That is like the one, no. The one thing that is constant about this run, we will always get tiller in every situation because it's a farming run. Cauliflower is green, right? I swear to God, if you guys say it's white, I am gonna mauled. Why is cauliflower not on there? Cauli is yellow. No, it's not. Cauli's not yellow. There's no, f there's no yellow here. What do you want, dude? The strats for spring were pretty straightforward. Get level five farming and then pick tiller. This allows us to sell crops for an additional 10% gold. And since this is a farming and foraging only run, it makes perfect sense. The color choice for spring was green. So fortunately, kale is a pretty optimal choice here. You guys should be cheering me on because I actually want to play that game today. The one where you go jumpies. You know, the one where you go up. I like that one. You guys should be hyped for it. You don't know it. Ah, are you f kidding me, dude? 
Okay, so now that I reached ice level, this is the plan. All we do is collect iron. The plan is very generic. We open up very boringly. I basically sit here and talk to you guys while I'm far, uh, doing that one. What, what is that song? Mining away. Whatever that song is. I play that in my head internally. We get down to the mines. After that, we make sprinklers. We just want level one sprinklers for now, okay? The plan is, is we're gonna get basic sprinklers into quality sprinklers, and then we're not gonna go any further. Iridium is way too taxing and way too expensive. Nice, we're, we're cooking, man. Oh, look at that. Okay, our first restriction, we are going to be accepting cat. Since we're going to mass farm, we need to use an efficient crop layout so we can get as many crops as possible with basic sprinklers under a single scarecrow. After resetting the tilled tiles, it was off to the mines for sprinkler components, you know, since we're poor. A few trips to the mines and a handful of kale later, we're able to harvest and sell our goods to Pierre. So if I sell this, we have 2,800. Wait a minute! If I sell this, we're going to be selling for every season a specific color of item for cash only. Ew, this is so cringe. Guilty. However, error struck. I sold the green forge seeds under the pretense that they were considered forageables. I wasn't supposed to do this, but in my mind, I just saw that they were green and made forageables, so I assumed they were okay to sell for some reason. After quickly cheating in front of everyone, I went back to the usual planting, mining, and sleeping strat until summer. Everything was going to plan. That is, until we reached day one of summer. So now we go outside, everything should be done. We cut everything. Nice, dude. Oh, the money we are gonna make from this, man. We are now here in summer. What is my color again? Could you guys help me out, please? It's red. <laughs> so a bit of a, a bit of a, a bit of an issue with money there. Tomato, beet, fairy rose, cranberry, apple, oh, that's wrong. How the f When can I do that? Wait. How do I get this? Okay, that's definitely out of the question. What the hell? Okay, that's not possible. Oh, I have an idea. I'm an idiot. I, why did I sit on this so long? I have the mixed seeds. After some deep life contemplation, trying to figure out every possible angle here, we have the mixed seed angle. All I have to do is I just, I just slam them sleep. That's all, that's it, that's the solution. I was like, dude, if I start sleeping right now just to get back to, to spring and I don't get green from you guys again, it's over, like straight up. At approximately 6.30 a.m. game time, disaster struck. I realized I have made a grave mistake yet again. I forgot to sell my green kale during spring, which means I have literally zero gold to my name. I was in trouble. After several minutes of dial-up noise and thinking of everything under the sun, it finally clicked on what to do, mix seeds. For the month of summer, the color was red, which meant that I would need radish, peppers, tomatoes, or melons from the mix seeds. Luckily, I was able to grow some radish and peppers. Yes! Oh, baby! We got an out, dude! Huge! But the good news is that peppers at least are consistently good money. With these crops in hand, I was ready to get back on track, so I sold them and bought melons. Don't click on the wrong things. Nice. Huge. We have four melons. <laughs> is he winning? Yeah. So, here's the plan. I'm pretty... I never planted them? Are you shitting me? Dude! <laughs> this is- it's too late now! Oh my god, you've gotta be shitting me! Dude! But another mistake was made, and I forgot to plant them until a few days later. At this point, there was no way they could grow in time before the season changes. Unless... Dude! Let's go! There is no way she doesn't help me out. This is a win. Dude, this is massive. Oh my God, the fairy saved the run. Well, why would you, why would you pick the one? It literally. You gotta be kidding me, man. 
Are you serious? Like, that's on me for not think- I, like, I did- I- Every time, man. We got some major luck with the fairy spawning, but she decided to pick the single melon, the one to the far left, away from every other melon. And after some soul searching, we eventually reached fall and the color was blue. Oh, okay. We're going into fall. I think the color is now blue. <laughs> 500 gold. So Summer Spangle, Amaranth, Fairy Rose. Oh, wait. Maybe we do Fairy Rose angle. Oh, just kidding. You guys are wonderful. Never mind. I don't have maple syrup. Never mind. I think we're going to do Amaranth. I think it's faster. What are you guys going to do for winter? If you pick anything other than blue or yellow or whatever the winter route is, I'm just going to skip winter and you can't even make me stop. I'm going to sleep past it so fast. Give me what I want right now. That does count. That is huge. Actually, you guys pick blue for this. How come pog plants not in there? Plum. Pog plant should count, but I haven't missed it in the list. That's okay. I think we do amaranth seeds. I think that's the move, right? Yeah. <laughs> I have a weapon. Oh my god. You have to plant the seed. What do you mean? I planted the seed. What are you talking? They're, they're there. You guys are trolling me. Chill. I did it so fast. You guys don't even see it. Heading to Pierre's with some pocket change and a few clutch wild plums, we were able to afford 11 amaranth. The strat at this point would basically be forage for wild plums and spam sleep. This would continue until winter. Give me yellow ideas. What, what yellow things can I do? When winter rolled around, I was given yellow, so I had nothing to do but sleep through the entirety of the season. Thanks, guys. Anyway, you might want to pop the spring a thing quickly because I'm about to I'm rolling up I'm on 20th oh it's green again dude okay does that means I can sell the kale right I will allow you to sell the kale I accept these terms at the beginning of spring year two I still had the initial kale from so long ago because I was using it as energy for the mines Prozac felt bad for me at this point and allowed me to sell them I then went to check the prices at Clint's because after year one the cost for supplies increases so I knew I couldn't afford much, but more sprinklers means more money, ultimately speeding up the run. <laughs> That's three more. At this point in the run, we're finally back on track with the amount of crops and sprinklers, so we can finally start progressing Joja. The first step is to buy the membership, which then unlocks the other options like minecarts and greenhouse. As soon as the dialogue closes, good enough. Oh, baby. Let's go. Our first split. We kept cycling through kale and spam sleeping towards the end of spring to accumulate as much money as possible while also buying Joja options. I can't buy greenhouse though. I'm too poor. I have to buy something. Oh, uh, it's dumb. Whatever. I have to buy something. So I'm going to have to buy some, I don't know, whatever the cheapest one is. Uh, all right. Mine carts are done. It was a misclick. It's hot today, okay? I sold coal and I had to reset because if I kept the day, then there would be another asterisk cheating and I don't really want to deal with that shit, so. I can do a uh, speed grow, right? Yes, speed grow, yes. Nice. I'm poor now. <laughs> I'm really nervous about buying everything and I have to double check like a kid at the store. Like, I don't want to have cheater associated with my name. You did hoard and sell those kale. Prozac gave me the go ahead. So if I cheated, Prozac cheated and Prozac's your representative. So that means you cheated too. If I'm going down and taking you with me like a ship. Oh my God, guys, look at the splits, dude. Oh my God, greenhouse is done. I would rather do Joja can. Oh, <sighs> be still my beating heart. So the hardest part of the run is coming up right now. All right, that was the hardest part. I didn't sell anything I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> Does anyone else find it kind of weird that the characters only wear one set of clothing? Put up X, Annie. Dude, stop. 
Uh, every time there's a cutscene, man. This is the last day until we are done, I'm pretty sure. Kind of an anticlimactic ending, but damn, dude, we kind of cruised. I think we could do this under two hours if I actually didn't mess up the kale and you guys didn't pick like the worst possible color. I just realized that we're naked basically looking into Robin's window. <laughs> she could see us the whole time. <laughs> And then I have to come get the, the thingy and we're good to go. Uh, it doesn't matter. What the hell is Fishingi? Is it this one? Sure. Even with the massive blunders that we had, good to go, man. Good to go. Jesus, every time, man. There is one more thing I need to do before we hit the old end arena. There you go, Prozac. All right, here we go. Oh, dude, that's still the wrong thing still. Yeah, we did it. I guess we'll just finish the run on time this time. Shut up, Morris. Give us our thing. Let's go, dude. Two hours. For wow. Two hours. What a interesting time. And there it is. And that's June. Joja, Joja, June percent. We did it. That's all we, that's, that, it was so much easier than Joji can percent. We did it in less than three hours, minus some mistakes. And, you know, it was a fun experience and it was something, I asked a lot of repetitive questions. So thanks for putting up with, uh, thanks for putting up with all my questions. And chat would really like to point out that I successfully did it in less than three hours. We did the requirements of getting cat. I didn't copium one time, whatever that means to be determined on the next one. And we got the greenhouse and I did everything else correctly under three hours, but the journey was good. We only made one, two crucial mistakes. The big one was kale. I forgot to sell it going into summer. If we didn't do that, we would have been done probably about like 40 minutes earlier, but that's fine. Chat was being a little mean. So I had to sleep through winter, basically the entirety of year one, which was fine. But then they were nice angels at the end and that's all that matters so yeah very good run super fun um would recommend the strategy for this run was pretty much similar to any other strategy i have prozac assigned me specific limitations one of my lovely community members again not the drug um they said that i couldn't jar i couldn't keg i'm not allowed to do mining stuff aside from collect resources so that means no selling gems stones coal wood whatever so my ideology basically was okay i need to get uh i need to get farming five as soon as possible because the only way to make money in this run was selling crops or the forageables and they had to line up with the color of the season that chat chose for that season so my goal was to get to farming five as soon as possible so i get the extra 10 percent from tiller and then if i got farming 10 at the very end that'd be fine we don't really need it though because you pretty much just need two seasons to get the blueberries going or pumpkins if we got lucky and got those which we didn't but yeah blueberries hard carried and then we sold those and as soon as we got cooking we're good to go it just starts out as a slow snowball effect from sprinklers to more sprinklers to more crops to bigger crops and bam that's it that's all we do easy peasy that's the strat pretty basic feel free to uh comment like or subscribe i guess <laughs>